तो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल आई विल ऑफ कोर्स टॉक अबाउट गेटिंग डेटा फ्रॉम मल्टीपल टेबल्स विच इज दिस सेट ऑफ मॉड्यूल्स इज ऑल अबाउट बट इन दिस मॉड्यूल आई विल गिव यू अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ बैकग्राउंड अबाउट गेटिंग डेटा फ्रॉम मल्टीपल टेबल्स तो वंस वी हैव स्टोर द डेटा इन अ टेबल विच इज ऑफ कोर्स इन अ डेटा बेस वी नीड टू रिट्रीव द डेटा फ्रॉम द टेबल विच इज इन अ डेटा बेस तो ऑफ कोर्स देर आर मैनी सीक्वल कमांड्स बट वन ऑफ द सीक्वल कमांड विच इज प्रॉबली द मोस्ट फ्रीकुंटली यूज सीक्वल कमांड इज द सिलेक्ट कमांड तो आई विल टॉक अबाउट इट वेरी ब्रीफली एंड आई विल शो यू दैट वाई इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड द यूजेज ऑफ द सिलेक्ट कमांड एंड हाउ इट इज यूज सो लेट्स लुक एट द मॉड्यूल कवरेज इन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड so uh, i will talk about the basic select statement and of course uh, when we say select in 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 the mysql environment usually you select the retrieved data from a table right but in mysql you can perform an operation without retrieving the data from a table and because when you re- when you retrieve the data from a table you use the from clause so i'll give you a very simple example uh, what mysql can support without the from clause okay and then uh, looking at writing the joins join is that i have this data which i have briefly discussed in the prior module the static table and the dynamic table so how do we connect the multiple tables to get what we are looking for and that connection that connection is named as the join and finally uh, i will give you uh, the tables which will be covering in the sum of the following modules what those tables are and uh, what is stored in those tables so let's go into more details so this is the basic select command so we have this uh, select with the selection list over here and uh, what do we want to select say for example we want to select the age we want to select the salary we want to select the name or whatever okay that is selection list and the table list so we can have table 1 over here we can have table 2 and so on and this is the where clause this is like a filter this is like a filter okay which conditions rows we satisfy then group by clause grouping basically i will talk about for the aggregates and sorting sorting basically is ordering having and limit one record or two and so on or three or whatever so this what constitutes a select command so over here we have this example of the select command without the from this is without without okay without the from clause so i am looking at a certain expression right so there is no from clause over here there is no table no table to select to select from okay so we are just looking at an expression so that expression gets evaluated so that is the benefit of the sql supported by mysql okay and then writing the joins joins getting the data from multiple tables retrieving data from multiple tables often joining tables is the solution so the, the because of the relational models because of the cords rules uh, because of these rules we have this normalization and the data is split across multiple tables so often the the answer to your problem is that from which tables you need to get the data you need to join them you need to connect them usually this is the solution well if that is the solution then <laughs> what's the problem the problem is the experience one needs to have experience of performing the joins of looking at different tables right and then getting what we are looking for this is a very interesting quotation about the experience is that experience comes from failures and when you have experience you don't fail i i think you understand so now this approach is is uh, using selecting from which tables that can be applied to variety of problems many many problems but the thing is you need to have the experience 
that which tables to connect and how to get and what data to get from those tables okay and finally the tables which we'll be uh, looking in the set of modules we have this table 1 over here we have table 2 over here this i1 is integer this is integer integer data type okay and over here this is the character data type character or string data type okay so we will be looking at this table and these two tables t1 and t2 in the subsequent examples the subsequent modules so that's all i have for this module for you